the one, two streaming. Yep. Okay, hello everyone. Let me refresh. Wanna welcome everyone just right now. Get everything here, getting it all set up. So I'm looking forward to this class and sharing with you guys. And also too, uh, before those that are, haven't joined us yet, but I just definitely want to encourage those that are watching, go back and uh, watch all the videos of the other guests that we had. Tremendous, tremendous uh, teaching, tremendous information. So again, I want to encourage everyone to uh, go and get those, um, or not go and get those, but actually go and watch those videos because it's it's very 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 <clears throat> very not a uh, very powerful stuff really good information so hopefully that this would encourage each and every one of you i'm gonna pray while we wait for others to come on heavenly father in the name of jesus we thank you father for this day this is the day that you have made uh we will be glad we will rejoice in it i pray father for each and every one of um uh, of those who are participants and of those who are, are watching um, live and those who are watching the video uh, and replay, I pray, Father God, you continue to minister to them. I pray, Father, for all of those involved in media ministry that their ministry will flourish and that, Father, that they will have ideas, insight, information that will allow them to take their media ministry to the next level because, Lord, everything we do is for your glory, Lord God, and everything that we do is to give you the honor and give you all the glory and all the praise, Father. And, Father, we thank you even now, Father, for all the things that God that you're doing in our midst. We want to <clears throat> thank you, Father, for AJ, the CEO, the vision that you've given him for this. I pray, God, that you continue to bless him, bless him mightily. Father God, I, I pray, Father, increase in him. And Father God, not only him, but Father God, all of everyone that's watching, Lord God, I pray, Father, for that individual. You might be watching this in the Philippines. I pray that God will increase your media ministry, that the word of, uh, of the, the kingdom of God can go forth and touch lives, touch nations, touch community, touch countries. In the name of Jesus, because you, your ministry, your voice is being heard <clears throat> through the uh, airways, through the digital age, I mean, through the digital media. And we thank God for you. And Lord, I also want to pray, Father, for uh, there may be a pastor watching this and you may be discouraged. And I hope that you will hear something that would encourage you and, and let you know you're not alone. You're, you're not alone. You're, you're not alone. That you have your voice does matter. And there's somebody out there that needs to hear a word from you that needs to hear a word from you because what God has given you <clears throat> is for them. Um, so I just want you to be encouraged and uh, remember to go forth and it's, it's all about Jesus Christ, all about his kingdom. So again, it may be someone watching this, you may, um, you know, you may be a media minister. You're the only one that's doing a media ministry and you may feel burnt out. Remember, it's not for the people, it's, for, it's unto the Lord. Sometimes we get frustrated, we get discouraged, and we want to feel like we want to quit and want to give up. But let me tell you something. Every time you say that, it's, it's like Jeremiah says, and it's like fire shut up in my bones. Every time you say, I want to quit, the fire of God ignites in you. said, I know I cannot quit. So I want to encourage you that you go forth and remember that you are his child. You're walking with the Lord, and he will never leave you nor forsake you. In Jesus' name, be blessed. Hallelujah, hallelujah. <clears throat> see, I see we have, um, I may have to re, let's see, I think I'm the only one in this room now. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord, hallelujah. Let me refresh this page here. Hallelujah. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Thank God, thank God. Uh, and again, I just want to emphasize for those that are watching or just coming on to make sure you check out all the videos of uh, from this conference of all the various speakers. There was some tremendous, tremendous information. I mean, I myself am learning. So I, there's you know people on here that I can't wait to go back and watch their videos uh, because it's very, informative and so again i want to encourage every one of you to go back and watch the videos of uh, the previous videos and watch them over and over again because again this is information is vital uh it's vital for, for your ministry and i think it'll be a blessing to you and then as you begin to grow 
And as you begin to touch others, you can take the information what you've learned and bless them and encourage them as well. Amen. We'll see if anybody else has joined, uh, has joined. If you're in the chat room, I see we only have one so far. Uh, well, it's just only it's just started now, 11 o'clock. So we'll give, give them about five minutes for everyone to log in, then I'll go ahead and get started. If you guys can hear me, can you put in the chat, you can hear me? Um, I see that we have three people here, but I'm not seeing the the chat yet. Let's see. Let me type it in here. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. We'll see. Make sure that. Yep. All right. Good. Good. Anyway, I'm so glad. And again, I, uh, for those that are tuning in I definitely want to encourage you we have some great speakers on here and again go back and check their stuff out I mean I mean we have some great great information on here like I was saying earlier uh, go back and take a look because I mean they have some vital powerful and vital information again I cannot stress it enough go back and watch the video from other people it'll be a blessing to you amen man let's see we got three people here uh, I like the MBC team I like I like that. I like that. Let me see who else do we um, have here. Let's see this uh, person that I know. Let's see. Amen. Let's see, Brother Mike. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and get started. And again, I want to welcome everyone this, uh, to this. My name is Francisco. Um, I'm an elder in our ministry. And uh, we're going to be talking about today is the media ministry, the mindset of media ministry, because, you know, a lot of times people from the outside uh, will look at those involved in media ministry and think, oh, I can just come in here and just do this. But you have to have a certain type of mindset uh, when you when you're talking about doing media ministry. And let's see, we're going to try this and see if this is going to work here. All right. Praise God. It's working. It's working. So here we're going to have the four P's of media ministry, the four P's of media ministry. And what I hope to do is go through the slides and then afterwards we're done with the slides and we'll have questions and answers. So, uh, so hold off your questions until we're done and then we'll have a time of questions and answers. Okay. All right. The four P's of media ministry. Number one, P purpose. Number two, preparation. Number three, people, and number four, problems. Let me repeat that again. Number one, purpose. Number two, preparation. Number three, people, and number four, problems. The four P's of media ministry. Purpose, in Colossians chapter three, verse 17, it says, and whatsoever you do in word or in deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God, the Father through him. <coughs> Excuse me, Colossians uh, chapter three, verse 23, and Amplified says, whatsoever you do, whatsoever your task may be, work from the soul that is put in your very best effort as something done for the Lord and not for me. Again, we're talking about the purpose of media ministry. The purpose of media ministry, media ministry is a vehicle that's used to spread the gospel of, the, uh, of, of Jesus Christ to the entire globe. It's just a tool. You know, uh, some people, for some reason, I, I cannot understand this for the life of me, that they seem to be against media ministry. They seem to have something. All it is is just a tool. Now, let me speak to uh, pastors and leaders and those of you that may have issues with it. Guess what? You know, it's a vehicle. You say you want to spread the gospel to the entire world. You say that you want to uh, uh, spread the gospel outside of your community. Media ministry is just one avenue. Get involved because media ministry will allow you to touch people from around the world. How many times have you heard or on the news that you've maybe been watching something happened across in Germany? And how was it done? It was done through social media, some form of digital media, some uh, body either put on their Facebook page, on YouTube or something. And now we're watching something that happened way across the world. We don't know these people. We've never been there. They've never been to our house. We don't have their cell number, nothing like that. But yet that what they did or didn't do, we are seeing because why? Because someone used media to publish it out. The same thing, uh, uh, 
media ministry is used, like I said earlier, it's a tool that's used to spread forth the, uh, the message of God's kingdom. It's a vehicle that's used. Is it the only thing? No, but it's something that we use. And I remember uh, a long time ago, well, I, I wasn't born at the time, but uh, when radio and that stuff came out and people were against that, and yet they started using radio to use it as a tool to spread forth the message. And then I've heard stories about people were saying, oh, you shouldn't uh, uh, broadcast the, the gospel on TV. This is like way back when. And now people are using to spread the gospel through television. Now, what's so good about uh, media is it doesn't cost as much. If you have a cell phone, you can broadcast literally. You have the potential of broadcasting to the entire world. Even in poor countries, they have cell phones and able to broadcast and someone can be heard from way down in Brazil. You can hear what someone is doing. You can hear about what someone is doing in Iceland as a result of uh, uh, social media or not social media, well, social media and media ministry. So I want you don't look at it as a negative, but look at it as a positive. Sure. Some people use it for negative. Yes. Or some people uh, 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 are using it to do bad stuff. Yes. But you can use it for the glory of God. Just as I read that scripture, you can take that airway. You can use it to carry forth the message of the kingdom. Because guess what? Not everybody is going to walk physically into your church, into your temple, into your ministry. They're physically are not going to do it. So I just want you to get, get your mind around. They are not going to come physically to your, to your church, but you can go to them. Who's to say that the message that you, be, you uh, the message that God has given you, and it's about Jesus Christ, but in the way that he's using your personality, your voice, your, your mannerism, he's using your uniqueness to spread forth his message. There may be someone in Germany waiting to hear from you. Yes, I said that. You heard me correctly. There's someone in Germany could be waiting to hear from you. Hear what God has placed within you because your voice is for that individual. You can find out, I think it's in Acts chapter, um, I think it's Acts chapter 9. When Ananias, so same thing with Apostle Paul, all the, all the um, apostles, they were afraid of him. All the people in Jerusalem were afraid of him. But God spoke to Ananias and said, I want you to go uh, minister to this guy named Paul. And Ananias was a little bit afraid. He was like, Lord, I've heard about this guy. But God used him to speak forth his message. So I want to encourage you. Take hold of this media ministry because you never know. You might be sitting there wondering, is anyone hearing you? There could be someone in Hawaii that's heard what you had to say, gave their life to Jesus Christ. They may have been on the verge of committing suicide, but because you were there and your voice was there, change took place. You could have saved someone's life and not even know it. Again, we're talking about the mindset of media ministry. So the purpose of it, I want to encourage you, is to go forth and to spread forth the gospel of the, of, of the message of Jesus Christ. I often say rule number one about media ministry, it is not about you. So take yourself out of the equation. We have to view media ministry as a service unto Jesus Christ. He should be the foundation of why you, myself, whoever is doing media ministry. Everything that uh, you do in media ministry should be unto the glory of God. We are to use this instead of cursing the darkness, we are to spread forth the light. We ought to do that through media ministry. We ought to go forth and use it for God's kingdom. Because let me tell you something, there's a lot of people that are out there that are broken, a lot of people that are hurting. And let me say this while I'm thinking about it. Don't compare yourself, your media ministry to someone else's. Yes, am I saying that they may have, they may operate on a, a, a um, better, maybe a polish. You, you can use that as inspiration. You can use it as, oh, I want to get to that uh, place, but don't allow what they're doing and let's say if they have a big multi-million dollar budget and all you have is a cell phone. I don't want you to put your cell phone down and say, I'm not going to broadcast. I'm not going to do this because I have a cell phone. I want you to stop that. That's the devil trying to discourage you. And you stand up in the name of Jesus and go forth because God has put something in you that someone in this world that the world needs. Yes, you are important. Your voice is important. Your message is important. The way God has uh, uh, wired you is important because people will. there's people that will never listen to me but will listen to you. Let me say that again. There will be people that will never listen to me. They will never listen to AJ. They will never listen to my wife. They will never listen to Monty, but they will listen to you because of what God has given you. And how are they going to get, you can't reach them. You, you don't even know their address, but through social media, through uh, uh, mo the media ministry, your voice, God can cause, God can orchestrate it to, so that your voice, your message can get directly to them. You don't know someone may be on the verge of committing suicide. But all of a sudden they went on YouTube and they pulled up and you begin to speak to their lives. 
mm, and you brought change. Why? Because of rule number one, it's not about you. It's always about the kingdom of God. It's always about how we can bless someone else. It's always how we can be, uh, how we can further the gospel uh, of God's kingdom. And don't allow, now let me say this again, don't measure your media ministry your, uh, uh, to someone else's. Don't say, well, I don't have this. They have all this stuff, so I'm not going to broadcast. No, use what you have. If you have to start off with a cell phone, use your cell phone and watch. If you're faithful with little, God will bless you uh, with much, with more. Start off with your cell phone. Then if God, then you begin to bless you, you may start off with, then you may have a tablet and then you may move to a, a, a camera. Then you may get a video camera. Then you may get one of these high price cameras, whatever the situation is, but use what you have. What's in your hands? <clears throat> when God told, oh man, I'm, I'm going to preach this thing now. When God told Moses, when, uh, Yes, Moses, what is in your hand? Moses took that rod and threw it down and it became a snake and it def uh, destroyed um, um, Pharaoh's snakes, ate it up. So use what God has given you. Use what's in your hand. Don't allow no one to discourage you. I don't want you to feel like, oh, because I don't have all this stuff, I'm not significant. Yes, you are significant because again, why? Rule number one is not about you. It's about the King of Kings and the Lord of, of Lord. It's about the God that you serve. It's about Jesus, the living Christ. So I want you to be encouraged. I want you to be on fire. I want you to go for it. You may not have the best equipment, but you take what you have and you be the best that God has called you to be. Because guess what? There's going to be somebody out there who's live. There could be a nation get changed, will be changed because of you. Yes. Let me say that again. There could be a nation that the people, the inhabitants of that nation will be changed because of you. And because of you were broadcasting on a cell phone, well, your media ministry was just on a cell phone. Remember, it's not about you. <clears throat> we have to act as though Jesus Christ is physically before us. You may be the only person running the media, your, uh, media ministry. Be faithful and consistent and maintain the spirit of humility. You may experience opposition as it relates to media ministry, but just remember you're doing it as unto the Lord. There might be some people that been sent. Let me say that there, there's, there might be some people sent by this, sent by Satan to discourage you from doing media ministry. Because you're doing the media ministry and you're not, you're not appreciated. Again, it's a purpose behind this. Your purpose is, you might be the one that's running it, but your purpose is to get that message out. You, by any means necessary, that what God has given you. And, and let me say this, wh wherever you start, do it in the spirit of excellence. Do it as unto the Lord. Remember I said, we have to act as if though Jesus is physically before us. You may be doing media ministry and you're operating sound. You may be doing the audio portion of it and you control the sound. You have to set the sound as if Jesus was standing, if, if Jesus Christ had the microphone. You have to set that thing as if he was physically there. You have to operate that camera as if Jesus was physically the one doing it. Because guess what? He is. We just don't see him. He's just using us as a vehicle because we see ourselves, but we don't see the, the spirit of God behind it, behind us. So we have to act as when I'm looking at this camera here and I have to, if I'm monitoring this camera, I have to act as if Jesus was speaking himself. And if Jesus was in the flesh speaking, how many of us will be, we will sharp, we'll be on point. We'll make sure that we have everything done in the spirit of excellence. Why? Because it's not about us. We have to view me, uh, media ministry that way. Remember, it's a tool, it's a vehicle. So meaning you have to have the mindset. You just can't just, let me say this, and also talking about the mindset of media ministry, you just can't just come and think about, well, I'm just going to do it sloppy because, you know, it won't work without me. First of all, that's the wrong spirit right there. Because you always, guess what? I've learned one, one thing in life, you're replaceable. <laughs> you are replaceable. Meaning that God will get someone else. Would he desire to use you? Of course. But if you if you don't want to be obedient, he'll raise somebody else up. You don't look all throughout the Old Testament. He always raised someone else up. So don't don't think you're not uh, replaceable. You don't think so? Ask King Saul. Hmm. When David asked him if, he, if, he, if he's not replaceable, he was big headed. He thought he was. He thought he was the man. But then he was replaceable by by someone who has God's heart. So I want to encourage you and, and media ministry, have the heart of God. Rem Take your eyes off the people. Let me say, pretend like when, when the people are giving you a hard time and they're not appreciating. And, and those of you who do media ministry, you know, if something goes wrong, everybody's going to, especially like if you're in a building, everybody's going to turn around and look at you. And you know how we, because I used to run audio sound and when something's not turning around, the whole congregation looking at you and you just want to say something. I heard one brother say, you want to speak Peter to them. <laughs>
<laughs> you want to say something, but you have to remember, you know, this is unto the Lord. This is unto the Lord. I have to bypass the people and see Jesus. And that's how you're going to keep going. When you, when you experience frustration, bypass the people and see Jesus Christ. Bypass him. Now, there's one particular scripture that I, I love here. It's in found in Exodus chapter 31. And I always equate that to media ministry. <clears throat> and it's, and it's uh, in Exodus 31. It says in verse 1, it says, Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, <clears throat> See, I have called by name Bazelel, the son of Uri, the son of her, the tribe of Judah. Now, he said he's called this particular Bazelel. I think that's his name, Bazelel. It says, I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and understanding and knowledge in all manner of workmanship to design, to, to design artistic works, to work in gold, in silver, in bronze, in cutting jewels for setting, in carving of wood, and to work in all manner of workmanship. And, in, and I indeed have appointed with him Elohabab, the son of Ashimek of the tribe of Dan, and I put wisdom in their hearts, uh, in, I'm sorry, in the hearts of all gifted artisans, that they may make all that I have commanded you. Pastors, leaders, if they, if, uh, let me just translate if this was in 2021. God is saying, I've given you the vision. You want to reach the world, but I've set up some, some of those in media ministry that I've anointed them, I've empowered them to help carry forth the message that I've placed within you. They're going to be the ones that will be, they're the experts. I've, now notice what he said. He has filled them with the spirit of wisdom and he's given them all this ability to go forth. So for those of you pastors that I, I was talking to earlier, that and you're against uh, the multimedia ministry, I want you to embrace it and allow God to send those to you to help you carry forth the message that he's given you. You can't have a stingy spirit and say, well, it's just only going to be us four no more. Or you often say, well, I want to reach the world. This is a vehicle. That God has said it. He made it so easy. I like what AJ, the CEO, said. He said, uh, 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 multi, uh, media ministry now has leveled the playing field. You can, if you have 150,000 people or if you have five people, everyone can still reach the globe using the same thing. Whether, when I mean by the same thing, using media ministry, whether it's your phone, whether it's your tablets, whether it's a camera, whatever the situation is, <clears throat> you can use it. So just here, the, again, we're talking about the mindset of media ministry <clears throat> and, and the mindset that it carries. That these men, that, they, that God has set them up to carry forth. He says right here at the um, verse 6, to make all that I have commanded you, everything that I put it within you, everything I told you, they're going to help you carry it forth. So, again, you may not understand all the technical stuff. You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to understand. All. Let those who God has anointed, God who's gifted, God who's uh, 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 given them the ability to do this, let them do their job. Because if they don't do their job, guess what? Your job won't get done. Let me say it again. If they don't do their job, the message that God has put within you will not reach its fullest potential. There could be someone on the other side of the world, <clears throat> like I said earlier. Let, let me just, because again, we, we put a limit so much on God. You may, God may use you to stop a terrorist act. Yes, let me say that again. God may use the, he may use you to carry forth the message. So someone may be thinking about doing a terrorist act, but then they hear the words of Jesus. You say, well, is that Bible? Apostle Paul, his name was Saul. He was on assignment to do a terrorist act against the Christians. I bet you didn't think of it that way, did you? And then Jesus had to encounter him and change his life. Now, Jesus may use you to encounter some terrorist over there, somewhere, from committing a terrorist act. A terrorist, is, is all a terrorist is, is someone who inflicts terror. So I don't want you to think of someone from a certain region. It could be anyone. So God wants to use you wants to use you. <clears throat> now, let me read another scripture here, Matthew chapter 25. And it says, um, the parable of the 10 virgins it says, at that time, the kingdom of heaven will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the, uh, the bridegroom. Five, five of the uh, virgins were foolish and five were wise. When the foolish ones took up their lamps, they did not take extra olive oil with them. Let me, when they, when the foolish one took uh, when the foolish one took their lamps, they did not take extra olive oil with them. 
But when the wise men took the flask of oils with their lamps, and when, they, when the bridegroom was delayed a long time, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. How many times you feel drowsy doing, doing well? Verse 6 here. But, but at midnight there was a shout, Look, the bridegroom is here. Come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish one said to the wise, Give us <clears throat> some of your oil because our lamp is gone out. No, they said, they won't, there won't be enough for us, for you and us. Go instead, go instead to those who sell oil and buy some for yourself. The lesson we learned from these verses were there were five that were prepared and five who were not prepared. That's correlation with media ministry. There was five that weren't prepared and five that were, which leads me to the second P, and that is being prepared. Media ministry, you, we have to be prepared. We have to take the time to prepare. We have to take the time uh, uh, to get ourselves familiar. It, says, it will take time to learn to understand media ministry technology. You cannot skip this step. You have to invest your time on becoming knowledgeable of your equipment, software programs, and the process that is needed to successfully operate media ministry. You, this is one thing you may see people that are doing media ministry and you wonder, wow, I wish it just seems so easy. They just went back there and push your buttons. No, you, they did go back there and push your buttons, but what you didn't see, you didn't see the months, the years, the days it took them to learn, to study, to invest their time, staying up one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning, trying to figure this thing out while, while the rest of us are sleeping away. They're reading books, trying to understand, trying to solve this. Now, when we see them, we just see them kicking back and pushing the button and we think, oh, I can do that too. Hmm. <coughs> Let me tell you something. There's a lot more goes, go, uh, goes on behind the scene. Again, we're talking about the mindset of media ministry. You know, it's not a thing that where we can just come in here and just sl jump back here and just push the buttons and everybody will be happy, happy, ha, ha, ha. No, there's a lot more involved. You know, I, I've often laughed when I heard people say, you know, they'll just say, well, can't we just do this? Because in their mind, they're thinking, no. You just can't do certain things because, again, those in media ministry, we understand all the ins and outs and all, and all that. And even most of us, we're still learning some stuff, too. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. We're still learning. So, again, preparation is key. And I cannot stress this enough. And for those of you who are in media ministry and you just started doing media ministry, I want to tell you, start, you, you, prepare, prepare, prepare. Just like the, uh, the scripture we just read, there were five that were wise and five that were foolish. The five that were wise made preparation. They didn't wait to the last minute. They had things prepared. They thought about things ahead of time. So again, make the necessary preparation because that's key. Preparation for media ministry begins before the streaming begins. Let me give you an example about that. Okay, let's say, for example, if your service starts at 11 o'clock, you know, um, whatever day, I don't care what, it starts at 11 o'clock. You just can't come there at 1050 and think, well, I'm just going to start media ministry and we're going to start streaming at 11 o'clock. No. That's like the five foolish. <laughs> Don't be like the five foolish virgins as we re read in Matthew uh, uh, in, in the scriptures. Be like the five wise, meaning that they had to, you know, uh, prepare ahead of time. What I, what I liked about the, the five wise, they were thinking about this beforehand. And it says here in my, uh, on the slide here, you have to start preparing for that service. An example, if you start at 11 o'clock, before, I, I often like to say, you start before, uh, let's say if it's on Saturday, 11 a.m., you start thinking about it Friday and making preparation mentally, going through your mental checks in your head. Do you have this? Do you have that? And when you get to the, uh, uh, the location where you do, or physically wherever you are and let's say for example my recommendation my suggestion is if you're going to start streaming your media ministry at 11 o'clock start preparing at nine because i'm telling you i'm telling you i'm telling you you're going to run into issues things that you, you things you're going to think everything's going to be set up and next thing you're going to run into something's going oh, oh this is not working that's not going something's happened all oh, the computer's acting up all oh, my internet's down there's going to be always something. So you want to give yourself ample enough time to, for preparation. You just don't want to sit there and waste yourself. I often like to say, have a, uh, a checklist, a preparation media checklist. Verify you, you have internet access. Make sure your batteries for wireless mics and wireless in-ear devices are operational if you, if, you're, if you guys are still meeting in the building. Power on all computers, and if you're running Windows, uh, make sure that, you, that uh, if there's any updates, 
If you have enough time, make sure you do your updates. If not, do that another time because I have experienced that in the middle of church service. Uh, I'll never forget this. We were doing some church service and then all of a sudden the screen went out and I looked at my coworker and said, what happened? He said, a Microsoft updates and the whole congregation is turning around looking at us like, what did you guys do? So make sure that you have, you, you check those things, make sure everything's up and running. Verify your audio and video equipments are powered on. That may seem, that may be a no brainer, but guess what? When you get caught up and you may forget sometimes, you'll forget, okay, what's going on? And, you know, and especially if something happens and you're spending your time on this and you lose, you get sidetracked, you, you can easily forget these things. So make sure you have those things powered on. Verify all wireless devices are powered on and check the battery status. You know, it's one thing, especially you have wireless mics and we've had this happen. Right in the middle of praise and worship, the singers are singing all of a sudden, it's like, and they were singing to the Lord and all of a sudden it's like, It's like silence. So I want to encourage you, make sure you have all this stuff here up and running. And if you have a PowerPoint presentation, make sure that there are no spill, misspelled words. Because we've, we've actually done that because we had to copy some words in and type them in. And, and you know, yeah, instead of you know, praising the Lord, it's like please the Lord or something like that. So I, again, make sure that you go over these things. And if you're presenting scripture, make sure you have the correct scripture in all scriptures. And I, now also, let me say this, because I know sometimes the pastors, they will come up last minute. If any pastors are watching this, you know, help us help you. I know sometimes you may get an additional word or something like that. But if all possible, give your media ministry the, the scriptures and all that ahead of time to make sure that they have. Because you may say, oh, just put this up here. You don't realize all the stuff that it may take. We may have to go and format some things. We may have to, if, if, you do, if they're using PowerPoint or whatever the situation is, it gives us, uh, it, it helps us out if you give us that information way ahead of time. So that way we won't have to be struggling trying to get this because we may be working on some other major issue and may not be able to get to it. So make sure that you get that stuff well ahead of time. Let's see here. Verify you have enough hard drive space if you're saving streaming to your computer. Make oh, I have done that where you thought, oh, I'm getting ready to save something. It's like you're out of it, you're low on disk space. So make sure that you have enough disk space um, uh, available because again, you don't think about it till you actually need it. And when you need it, you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have enough disk space. What's gonna happen? <coughs> Excuse me. And at the end of service, and I'm almost willing to bet every, every person in media ministry has done this at least one time. You forget to power off your equipment. You forget to power off certain things. And especially if those of you that are working with uh, ATEM minis, they get very, very hot. So make sure you power those things off. Because again, you don't want to come back and like, oh my gosh, I left this thing on over and it overheated or something happened. So the equipment that you're not using, if you're not, you know, every ministry is different. I would definitely make sure that you power off all like your audio and your visual equipment because you want to make sure uh, that stuff is not up and running because they may get, may get overheated. So make sure you take care of that. Preparation. You have to be teachable and eager to learn new technology as they are presented. Technology is constantly evolving and you have to evolve in learning as well. There was a time when we used to use rotary phones. Now we have, used, now we have cell phones and rotary phones are obsolete. Be informed and stay prepared. Always learning. If you don't have a teachable spirit, I'm going to say this. You don't belong in media ministry. Let me say that again. If you, if you all, if you don't want to constantly grow, because guess what? The technology that you learn today, six months from now, a year may become obsolete. So again, always, if you, if you're a person that, again, if you're not teachable, this is just my humble opinion. You don't need to be a part of media ministry. You need to go some, do something else because media ministry will require you to become teachable. If not, you're going to be left behind. You're going to wonder why your stuff is not, why your stuff is not growing. Why? Because you're using old technology and no one's no longer using that. So always constantly learn and always try and always maintain a, a teachable spirit because again, preparation is something else. It's, it's very vital. <clears throat> the next P of media ministry is people. Media ministry volunteers. That for those of us in media ministry, that could be one of the hardest thing is getting people <clears throat> to volunteer. Now, let me say this. I often like to qualify this. It says, you will have to evaluate an individual's skill and will. 
Ideally, every media ministry would love to have a volunteer or volunteers with high technical skill and a high servant's will, meaning that you're going to have, they're, they're going to be dependable. They're technically savvy. They know their stuff. They're, they're reliable. They don't, they're a team player. They're, they're, uh, they, they, they don't cause problems, they, but they instead of help solve problems. They don't, they don't subtract and divide, but they add and multiply to the media ministry. You know, these are ideally what we want. And, and if you have someone like that, let me say this. To, to the pastor and pastoral leadership. You may, if you have someone like that in, in your media ministry, or if you have a team like that, make sure you embrace them. Make sure you celebrate them. Make sure you, you thank God for them because that is not, that's hard. When you have a team of people that's committed and it gets back again to rule number one, you know, and it's, it's about uh, having the heart of God. And let me also say this too. <clears throat> for those who may be designed to be part of uh, a media ministry, it is a lot of fun, but yet it's also a lot of responsibility because we're doing this is unto the Lord. You know, you, you have to maintain, and I said it again, I'll keep saying it. You have to have a teachable spirit and you, you have to be dependable. You have to have a, the heart of God that you mean you want to serve and be a blessing to God's people that you want to, uh, 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 see the message of God's kingdom go forth and you take, and you take it serious. It's not something that you, that's, uh, that you just lack. And let me give you an example, some things that, you know, that I often expect from those that are working with me that if you know you're not going to be there let somebody know now there's going to be some things that you know some emergency that may happen last minute you know that's that's fine that that may happen and sometimes that will happen and let's say someone you know if something happened you know they couldn't make it that morning that's fine that's that's understandable but don't make that a habit where you constantly always gone and not notifying no one because we're expecting you to be there and and if we know that you're not going to be there we can make adjustments but if we're expecting you to be there, that's like my right arm. If I'm expecting my right arm to work and next thing you know, my right arm is not no longer there. I'm like, what am I going to do? I was depending on this right arm. If I would have known ahead of time, I could have made some changes. I could have made some calls and said, look, I need someone to come help me do this. I'll show you. Just do this part. I I'll take care of all this. I need this. And let me say this for those of you in media ministry. If you have anyone that has a desire, wants to learn, especially if they're kids, embrace it, encourage it. I'll never forget at our church. We had some little kids and they, and at first I was like, do they really want to do this? <clears throat> at the time they would think they were like eight and nine years old. Uh, <clears throat> the gentleman that was over the slides, over the, uh, uh, the slide ministry, uh, presenting the scriptures, he got them and they were, and probably within a month, they were running the whole thing. You didn't have to tell them anything. They was, they were running it and they were nine and 10 years old and they were enjoying it. They would follow the songs and. Because I tried that, you know, for those that, you know, doing PowerPoint presentation while the worship singers are singing. And especially, you know, sometimes you may have the, the song, the person, they will deviate from the song and change it up. And then I fired myself from doing that, uh, uh, the, the presentation ministry. I said, you know what? I gave myself a pink slip. I told all the singers, so look, I'm firing myself from this. <laughs> Let someone else do that. But again, if you have those that you know, the young children that desire to do that. You, yeah, of course you want to monitor them, but you want to make sure that if they really have the heart because you never know you, that person may, that may be the gift in God, what God has placed within them. They may be, God may have put within them to become a movie director. And we just see the little child, but there's a movie director inside that child. That's God's gifting and, uh, uh, that he's placed within that. That's his gifting and the talent that he's placed within that child. You may be used to cultivate that. Again, if there's kid, children involved and they have a willing heart, go for it. Problems in media ministry. <clears throat> Plan for success and prepare for failure. In media ministry, you will encounter problems. It's not an if you would have problems, but when you have problems. <clears throat> Again, prepare for it because in media ministry, you will have issues. You're going to have stuff that's going to come up. There's going to be things that happen that uh, uh, that's out of your control. Like, check this out. It says, uh, these are some problems that you may be able to control. Have a backup plan in case you have issues with equipment. If possible, have a backup streaming device or, or uh, computers. If you have, let's say, if you have, especially well, if, when you first start out, you may ha not have these backup uh, devices. You may only have one laptop. And then as time progresses, if you get another laptop, use that as a backup. So that way, if something happens, you, you, you know, you have a backup, you have a con contingency plan. You have something to be able to, uh, you can get on streaming. If you, right now, if you're broadcasting through the internet or streaming through the internet and something goes wrong, make sure you have a phone or some, something that you can use as a backup 
uh, uh, equipment, backup video cameras. Let's say if you have cameras, or and if that goes out, you can use your cell phone, use a tablet. But it's always have a backup plan because these are problems that you can possibly control. Meaning there could be something uh, if a, if a light burn out or something like you have an extra uh, extra bulb on hand to get that ready. Uh, if something you know if, if a wire breaks or if a cable if a HDMI cable break, you have an, another one as a backup. These are some problems that you can control. Make sure you have that. Again, it gets back to what I talked about earlier: preparation. Be prepared for the unexpected because as much as and let me say this: as much as you prepare for the unexpected, there's going to be something that happens. You're going to say, "Oh wow, I didn't see that one coming." So make sure that you have have a uh, backup problem now here's some I mean a backup for your problem here are some problems that are beyond your control it says here are a few issues that I've encountered internet service provider uh, had an outage so you couldn't do any live streaming that's something out of your control the power amplifier uh, burnt out during our service we were I'll never forget we were having praise and worship and all of a sudden we started smelling smoke and like what and then looked over the amplifier went out and then the sound went out and then it was the amplifier that burnt out these are things that are beyond your control you may have a Microsoft update that uh, that may reboot during service. That's why I said earlier, make sure you check your power on your, your, your equipment. Make sure you check. Now with Windows uh, 10, you can change the dates of when you would like those updates to be installed. So make sure <coughs> you set the dates that you're not in service or something like that, that they can get those updates installed. Because again, these are some issues that you could be right in the middle of service. And this may happen too sometimes. You could be right in the middle of service and then if you hadn't uh, rebooted your system for a while or anything like that, Microsoft will just do an update and just you and then you're like, oh gosh, what am I gonna do? So make sure again, there's gonna be some things that are out of your control, but it's not about if you uh uh if I if I'm gonna have problems, but when those problems occur, that you'll be prepared and that you would uh again, and let me say this too. For some of you that you know this may be your first time streaming, you may feel frustrated and things are not working out. Let me relax. It happens to the best of us. You know, God knows the intent of your heart. So don't, if it doesn't work out, and, and we've all been there, even to the best of us. I, I'll never forget a few, I think it was two weeks ago, AJ, we were setting up something, a, a conference, a round table, and he was experiencing problems. And he was saying, wow, this goes to show you, no matter how skilled and how knowledgeable you are, you're gonna encounter some issues. So I don't want you to be frustrated. I don't want you to get bent out of shape, but just, I want you to know it happens to all of us. Just relax, it's not the end of the world. It's not, there's no sense of you working yourself up you know, and, and the problem's still gonna be there. Or just working, you know, get yourself and just slow down, breathe, and then ask God for wisdom if there's something you can control. If it's not, just take some time, just relax, be patient, be patient, all right? So I don't want you to stress yourself out and then, and then you go home frustrated and then the enemy's telling you, you see, you don't belong in this media ministry. No, you do belong in the ministry because we need people like you. Yes, we need people like you. And that's the end of the media ministry session. Um, for those that <clears throat> have any questions, feel free now to post them in the chat. Let me see right here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yes, you can uh, post. If you have any questions, post them in the chat here. And uh, let's see. And yeah, we definitely want to give, give people some time to ask any questions. So if you have any questions, yeah, definitely post those in the chat. Amen. See, <clears throat> yep, we're all uniquely equipped. That is correct. Definitely. Definitely. We're all uniquely equipped. Let's see. Someone asked, what's a good way to find... Uh, What's a good way to find volunteers for the ministry? Um, one of the things I like to do is I like to, first of all, I'll ask and put it out there. Hey, look, we need people that are willing to help us. You know, if, you know, start first in your local congregation. If there's not anyone there, uh, my wife came, my wife had a great idea and I'm thinking, wow. And I think I shared this with the group too, that, you know, there's certain schools and certain colleges that may have people that are majoring in media. You can reach out to them, reach out to the college and uh, talk with them and say, hey, look, if I, hey, I've got something that I need to do over here and could we set it up where that they do work for us? Like, let's say media, let's say maybe editing videos or <clears throat> assisting with directing or something like that. And they get credit for it. I would definitely encourage you to reach out to colleges and reach out to 
um, different places uh, that may have these things. Like you may have someone that, that some audio school or something like that. Reach out to them and see if they have uh, uh, um, see if they have people in school like uh, that need experience, and that will be a way to engage them. And <coughs> excuse me, and that not only that. But it would also impact them because you don't know whose life you're going to help you, whose life will be ch changed and transformed by your media ministry, by the ministry that you that you have out there. So I would definitely encourage you to, to do that. Let me see. Uh, so sup OK, suppose you're the team lead in the ministry. How do you train others to replace you? Um, <clears throat> that that's one of the things that I like to do is I call reach and teach. Whenever you, you're training uh, those in media ministry, always train, you know, train them, train them, make them, train them so that way you can be where you're not, that you're not there doing everything. You teach them, you, you have to be patient with them. Again, like I said earlier, it also um, depends on them. Are they teachable? Hopefully that they are teachable and hopefully that they are. If you're teachable and have a willing heart and willing to learn, you can always work and develop their skills. You can always take the time and invest in, into them. Uh, you may have to uh, call them one on one or, or teach them, send them books, send them videos. Uh, <clears throat> if there's any conferences or something like that, send them to a different conference so that they may learn certain certain things. They may have a conference that someone else may be doing or, or tell them to check this out on YouTube or different things, but get them involved and, 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 and be available. If they have any questions for let them, uh, let them so what they'll feel free to come and ask you questions. Let's see. It says, what are some tips we can implement to help our leadership? <coughs> Excuse me. Pastors and leaders understand what we do as media ministers. Good, good, good question. I would definitely uh, let uh have them see what goes on behind the scene. You know, uh, someone um, like on this conference here, they have what they call behind the scenes. Let them play. The, let them see that the, the, those type of videos. Tell them, have the pastor, have the leadership come back and say, let me show you what we do here. Because sometimes they'll just say, oh, let's put this video up here. But they don't understand how long it takes. One hour of video may take maybe a four or five hours just to prepare because they don't see when it takes time to edit the video. Put these things in here. Add the lower thirds in the video. Uh, adjust the audio. Let them see all what goes on behind that and let them know that, look, then the, another thing that they, we have to show them is like, you know, a lot of times they'll say, well, let's put this up here and let them know how big is the video? Do we have enough space on our platform to hold these videos? But let them see what's going on behind the scene and show them and tell them it's just not clicking buttons, but it involves a lot more other things involved and definitely let them know that, hey, look, this, we had to study and learn this stuff. It just didn't happen overnight. We had to spend time learning. Now there's going to be some pastors who are technical pastors that they love all this kind of stuff. And they, and, and, you know, I've met some pastors, you know, they're just, they're on up there. They're, they are on the technical stuff because they love technology and they're, they're part of it. So someone like that, they will probably do all the research and study and all this kind of stuff on their own and learn. And, or they may come and say, okay, what process you guys are doing and that type of thing. So definitely, I would definitely sh uh, have videos and show them what goes on behind the scene and let them know there's a lot more than just pushing buttons and saying, going live on, on YouTube or, or whatever uh, platform that you're looking to uh, stream to. A lot more involved. Let me see. And we've got a few more minutes here. Um, see if anyone else uh, posts some more questions. <clears throat> and again, I just want to encourage everyone to go back and watch the, the videos, watch the um, um, go back and rewatch them, rewatch them, rewatch them, because there was some lot of good information that was said. Um, and I want to encourage you to go back. And again, one thing about media ministry, like I said, uh, it's constantly evolving. You're always learning some new thing. And I would encourage you, go see what other people are doing. Go learn from them. You know, with me, every time I go into a, physically into a, 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 a ministry building, since I'm a technical person, the first thing I, I look and see, okay, where's the sound booth? Where's it? Where where the speakers being hung? Um, or they have? Where's the lights? Where's the technical stuff? That's that's just me. That's how I. I and and what are they using? What what kind of equipment are they using? Oh oh, they're streaming from over here. Oh they're you know those type of things. So always learn because are they using an app? What app are they using for their streaming ministry or for their media ministry? So always go and see what others are doing. It may not work for you. I, let me say this. <clears throat> Look at it as far as like a, a recipe. There's some things or certain or like a cake, certain ingredients may work for you and certain may not. Things that don't work for you, don't add that. You just put that and make it your own, whatever it is, but use it as a template. 
you know, some of the things on the checklist that I, I that I mentioned that may not work for your ministry, but use it as a template, uh, as a template to have some kind of um, 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 media checklist. So that way you make sure everything is up to par. <clears throat> Let me see again. If you have any other questions, please post them down. Uh, we've got a few more minutes here. <clears throat> Bear with me. My throat has really been. Give me some little issues, so that's why I'm constantly drinking this water. Um, someone posted reference. I'm not sure what they mean by as far as reference. Um, I don't know what. Yeah, the person that posted the reference, can you clarify exactly what you mean by reference? But bless God. Again, I, I hope that you guys are encouraged, excited, um, empowered, you know, uplifted. You, um, I just hope that you that you really strengthen, you know, and again, to, the, to those media ministry that. Uh, <clears throat> oh, I see this is so that you can have a reference. Reference so that you, you can have a reference when you receive information from other ministry. Oh, OK. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, when you when you go and look at uh, other um, ministries, you, you know, you can have some type of reference and stuff, something that you can learn from. Again, you know, AJ, the CEO, I, I've learned a lot, a lot because I've never done uh, as far as on the media, on the media side or the live stream. I knew how to do it as far as some of the, you know, the equipment and the video part of it. Uh, I, I know about video cameras, but I mean, I know what they are, but I never got in depth with them, and especially the live streaming part of it. When COVID took place, I, how I came about with AJ, the CEO's uh, YouTube channel, I was doing the, uh, about OBS. I saw someone said something about OBS and then I typed in OBS and then um, I think OBS and ministry. And then I saw AJ and he on his YouTube channel and he was sharing some things. And again, <clears throat> you're constantly learning. And I have a technical background and and, you know, but I learned a lot. Again, it's all you're always learning. You're always learning from others. And, you know, I came across his, his YouTube channel and. And I was like, man, this guy has a lot of good information, a lot of stuff. And I find myself every day watching it. And my mom, I mean, my wife was saying, hey, you, you go hang out with your friends again on YouTube. I said, yeah, it's some really good stuff that he's sharing and, and very good informative information. So, again, learn. Uh, 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 and then there's another one that I got turned on to from AJ is Monty, Monty Weaver. He has some really good stuff on on his uh, 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 page as well. And Mike Fair, really good informative uh, information and for those of you that are watching, I will strongly encourage you to join the uh, the the Facebook. Uh, um, I think it's for me media group. I think that's what it's called. I would strongly encourage you to get on that page because there's there's over two thousand people on there, and someone if you're experiencing something, someone on that channel has experienced it themselves. And it's a great reference. It's a great tool. Uh, I've even seen people post stuff on there during Sunday morning service when they were having problems. And someone reached out to them and said, okay, do this. I want you to do this or set this up or allow me to come in here and help. I mean, during the middle of service, when they were having problems, they had a reference point. So again, I want to encourage you. Uh, <clears throat> again, pastor, this is all part of media ministry, stuff that you don't see that's going on, that you just think that, you know, it, it's just, there's a lot of stuff going on behind the scene. There could be headaches that are taking place behind the scene. You don't know that because why? There's people that are skilled in doing certain things. And again, they, it took them time to learn how to do that stuff. So it wasn't something that happened overnight. So I definitely want to encourage you. So I think someone posted the Facebook group uh, for the multimedia ministry. And again, if those that are watching this, you're not part of that. I would highly encourage you. If you have Facebook, get on that because again, there's going to be some stuff that you may not know, or even if during service you may have a problem, or before service. Oh, it's modern media. Uh, yeah, modern media ministry made easy on Facebook. Join that group because again, there's a lot of great information out there. I mean, people that are very knowledgeable. <coughs> that on cameras and I mean all kinds of stuff people that develop uh, applications uh, I mean incredible stuff out there great information so I definitely want you to, to be encouraged and do that I see that we we haven't had any more uh, let's see if that's all we're gonna go ahead and end this in this uh, stream and again, I want to thank God for those that are watching. I thank God for you. And before I end, I want to end in prayer. 
Heavenly Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus for every uh, person that's watching this, every uh, person that's involved in media ministry. I pray, God, that your Holy Spirit, Lord God, would encourage them, strengthen them. I pray that, Father, that, Lord, let something that was said encourage them, Lord God, uplift them, Lord God. I pray that even now in the name of Jesus, that, Lord, that they will be the people that, Lord God, you cause them to be. I pray that, Lord God, there may have been someone that been frustrated, want to quit, want to give up, that's watching this. I pray that, Father, that your Holy Spirit, Lord God, would charge them, Lord God, that Father, that they will be encouraged and uplifted, Lord God, and that Father God, that they'll be excited for the things that God, that you've placed within them. And Father God, we thank you right now in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. This is Francisco. Until next time, God bless and be upon you, and good night and bye for now.